For today's lesson, I'm going to discuss all about lexical semantics. Lexical semantics is concerned with the meanings of words and the meaning of relationship among words. Under lexical semantics, we have homonyms. Homonyms consist of two morphemes. The first one is homo, which means same. The other morpheme is memes, which means name. Homonyms means the same name or they share something in common. Meaning to say, homonyms are words with the same spelling and pronunciation but differ in meaning. Let's have this example. The word is watch. The film is well made and fun to watch. The word watch in this sentence means to look at or observe attentively over a period of time. And it functions as a verb. To plus base form of the verb, what we call an infinitive verb. Let's have another meaning of the word watch. She kept looking anxiously at her watch. Watch in this sentence is a noun, which means a small timepiece worn typically on a strap on one's wrist. Again, homonyms are words with the same spelling and pronunciation but differ in meaning, just like this word, watch. Now let's have homophones. Homophones, just like homonyms, consist of two morphemes. The first one is homo, which means same. And the other one is phones, which means sound. Meaning to say, homophones are words with the same sound, or words that are pronounced the same, but differ in spelling and in meaning. Let's have these examples. C is spelled as S-E-E -E versus C is spelled as S-E-A. This word means to perceive with the eyes and it functions as a verb. Let's use this in a sentence. I can see it as a talent. This word see functions as a verb, an auxiliary verb. Can functions as an auxiliary and see functions as the main verb. Now let's use the word see in this sentence is spelled as S-E-A. He lives near the sea. The word see here functions as a noun. It means the expanse of salt water that covers most of the Earth's surface. Again, homophones are two words with the same sound but differ in spelling and in meaning. Now let's have homograph. Homograph is consists of two morphemes. The first one is homo, which means same. And graph means writing. Meaning to say, homograph are words with the same spelling or same writing, but differ in pronunciation and in meaning. Let's have this example. If this word means a numerical value and functions as a noun, this is pronounced as number, number. 
Let's use this in a sentence. Each individual item has a number. Again, number means a numerical value and which functions as a noun. On the other hand, if this word means a lack of sensation and functions as an adjective, this is pronounced as number, number, from the base word num, a silent B letter. Again, this is pronounced as number. Let's use this in a sentence. My feet got number this time. The word number in this sentence functions as a comparative degree of adjective. Let's have another example. If this word means to remain alive and functions as a verb, this is pronounced as leave. Leave. Let's use this in a sentence. The doctor said she had only six months to leave. Again, this word functions as a verb which means to remain alive. On the other hand, if this word means something is happening now and functions as an adjective, this is pronounced as live. Live. Let's use this in a sentence. We are watching the boxing competition live. Again, this word is an adjective which means something is happening now. This word describes the boxing competition. And these are examples of homograph. Words with the same spelling but differ in pronunciation and in meaning. Now let's have synonyms. Synonyms are words that mean the same but sound different. Say for example, the word afraid might also mean scared or frightened. The word famous might also mean well-known. The word idea might also mean thought and insight or perspective. These are synonyms. Then let's have the opposite of synonyms, which is the antonyms. These are the words that are opposite in meaning. It has two types. The first one is the gradable pairs. These are typically pairs of adjectives that can be qualified by adverbs such as very, quite, or extremely. These are an adverb of degree. Say for example, we have hot and cold, wet and dry, interesting and boring, bright and dull. These words can be qualified by adverb of degree. Then we also have complementary pairs or non-gradable pairs. These are the pairs of words that are opposites in meaning, cannot be graded, and are mutually exclusive. Say for example, we have alive and dead, right and wrong, yes and no, entrance and exit. If you notice, words and their complementary pairs or non-gradable pairs are the words which cannot be qualified by the adverb of degree. 
Then we also have hyponym. This is a set of related words. Say, for example, the words red, white, yellow, and blue are hyponym of color. Then we also have the word rose, gumamela, and sampagita, which are the hyponym of flowers. Next, we have metonym. These are the words used in a place of another to convey the same meaning. Say, for example, let me give you a hand. The word hand in this sentence also means help. Let's have another sentence. The pen is mightier than the sword. The word pen also means a written form. And sword means a military aggression and force. Again, these are examples of metonym. Then we have metronym. This is a new term created from an existing word in order to distinguish the original referent of the existing word from a latter one that is the product of progress for technological development. We have here examples acoustic guitar from guitar, email from snail mail. Again, these are the examples of retronin. This is all about lexical semantics. Thank you for watching.